What is going on, everybody? How are we doing today? How is you guys' week going this week, guys? So cute. Good to see you in chat. Frequency, how are you doing this week, my friend? Good to see you. Yorn, hey, yo. How are you, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yorn, what time is it over there? I'm curious. Are you are you up late today? Up a little late, huh? Launched my GMK set yesterday, so going really good. How are you? I'm doing great, my friend. Um, we got the key cult finished up, even though the stream crashed last time, unfortunately. I will show that to you guys in just a second. Um, so enjoying that. Um, other than that, having a pretty good week so far. It's almost Friday. We're almost there, boys and girls. Also, we've got a prototype we're going to build today. Um, I think there's been one of these built, maybe two, at least one uh, mentally built one, a acrylic one, if I remember correctly. Um, so we've seen an acrylic... Uh, obliterated 75 dab city how are you my friend good to see you this evening how are you doing this week uh so we've seen the acrylic one i think judging by the uh, weight here we've got an we've got a an aluminum one here so we shall see joe what's up stash 10 p.m here in ireland oh it's only 10 p.m in ireland i guess that's not too bad well that's a, a good six hours so you're six hours ahead of us damn well it's good to see you joe glad you made it in today hope you're having a good week my man 11 for you in norway see i knew you were gonna be uh you were gonna be a little late there huh uh simp detector thank you for the follow i appreciate you joining us and a uh, nice name there simp detector i like that well played it's all euro boys huh i guess i'm in the the euro time zone here right eh? got the euro stream going on thursdays i like it i like it well it's good to see everybody in chat glad you guys are all doing well you guys want to uh see the outcome of the stream that crashed on sunday you guys curious I see keyboard build, I follow. <laughs> well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you, Simp Merka. Appreciate it. Davis the Great, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you in chat today. How the hell are you, brother? We're going to switch over here so I can show you guys this little beauty. This is the Key Cult 160 that we built Sunday. Well, we attempted to finish the build on stream, though it crashed, I guess, three times, maybe four times before I just... Uh, I ended up restarting my PC and my router at the same time to see if that would fix it. It came back up and then it crashed again, so I gave up. Um, but I did finish the build afterwards. No way I was gonna let stream crashing stop me from finishing this beautiful board up. We've got the 160. This is built with lubed and filmed H1s on a polycarb half plate. So the alphas are on no plate pretty much. Those guys are just on the PCB itself. Give you guys a little sound here. Let me uh, let me pause the tunes for you. Give you guys a little sound test. This is the alphas here. Yeah, the alphas sound amazing. So does everything else though. top row here's bottom row and yes sandstorm on black looks so good and the fact that this brass key colt cap is pretty close in color I mean, it goes with the side, obviously, but it's pretty close in color with Sandstorm. I think it goes very well with it. Uh, so, yeah, this is definitely one of my in-game boards here. I don't plan to get rid of this guy by any means. Um, so this one's going to just be a throw it in the case and keep it board here. Came out really fucking good. I'm pretty happy with this one. I do have another plate and PCB, though. Uh, a brass plate and a PCB. So we will do another bull or another build with this. What am I doing with your brass key coat cap there? Visionaire? I don't know. I guess it fell and it just landed right there. And then I, I just left it. I, I was too lazy to pull it off. So I figured, eh, I'll just leave it. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, this thing came out fucking amazing. Absolutely beautiful. So hype about this board. Uh, we do have a 165 as well. We will be building that soon. TM. Soon TM. Um, I don't know when exactly. Not in a super rush for it. Because uh, I'm really enjoying this 160 currently. So I'm going to come get it. Visionaire, come over here. You come hang out. Maybe, uh, nah, I won't give you the cap. But you can come hang out. You can, you can come kick it. You know where I'm at. <laughs> come hang out, dude. But yeah, this thing sounds, feels, everything. This thing is amazing. Like, great. Fucking amazing. We'll slide this down here. What did I build it with? Visionaire. I built this with lubed and filmed H1s. Uh, I lubed them with 205 grade zero, lubed the springs with 105, uh, and then filmed them with, uh, I guess, I think I used TX films with these. I don't think I used my films with these. These were done prior, so. Um, the switches came out beautifully, came out absolutely amazing. And the fact that half plate, like this is my first experience with a half plate, and half plate's pretty fucking cool. I like it. It, very, it makes it very quiet. I will say that. It quiets, quiets it down a good bit. Um, but it's definitely very nice. Feels good. Sounds good. All of the above. Definitely a fan of that one. A fan of that one. <clears throat> but we do have another plate in PCB, so we will rebuild this again sometime soon. Uh, no, you did not miss it. We just, uh, I was just showing off the, uh, key cult because the stream crashed last time. Uh, unfortunately, the ultimate pube. And, um, good to see you, by the way. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. Uh, yeah, I was just showing off the board because the stream crashed last time, so you guys didn't get to see the end product. You guys didn't get to see the final build or hear it. Uh, pretty much crashed, I think, right as I got the switches all in and I was about to solder. Uh, so pretty much stream crashed. I soldered everything, got it ready to go. Uh, where did you get the cable from? This cable is from Lux Cables. This is actually my cable to match camping. This is, until recently, he was not planning to do camping cables, but I convinced him that he likes camping. So now he has a set. Not only has a set, but he plans on doing a camping run. Um, so this is not... not going to be one of one camping cable there will be more camping cables this is going to be the only one like it i guess um but uh, there will be more and the ultimate pube thank you for the follow i appreciate you my friend thank you for hanging out with us today um but yeah so will be not one of one cable but lux cables if you want to check him out he does do it kind of a how do you put that like a limited run thing or something he does like uh order of you know each theme he does like a certain amount of them you got to jump on it when they happen. So, pretty solid cables, though. Very good work on those. Uh, Avail the day. Good to see you, my friend. How the fuck are you? How's your week going? Hope you're having a good week so far, my dude. So, guys, what do you think? We jump into the build here? Good, uh, showing off of this here. Let me pop this open so my address isn't up on the top here. There we go. Loving the key coal. Sandstorm? Oh yeah, sandstorm on the key coal, and it looks beautiful. So far so good. You having a pretty good week myself. Pretty good week myself. Uh, so we've got some O-rings, so we're gonna burger mount this beautiful board. Burger mount it. We got our bump-ons down there. We got some screws. Uh, I'm assuming those guys are the longer ones if they're, well there's probably not plate screws in there because the plate is right here. Um, so those are our, I assume, going to be our plate screws there. They seem a bit long. Some of them are longer than others, actually, so I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. <clears throat> we got our FR4 plate. 75% FR4 plate from Canon Keys. The lovely Canon Keys logo is there on either side of the space bar cut out. Pretty solid. I do like FR4 plates. Got a little flex to them. Except the backwards space bar. Talking about my key cult, 
No, that's the correct way, spacebar. Flipped is the correct way, frequency. I think you have it backwards. <laughs> Ooh, we got a, a nice little PCB here. We are gonna test this PCB. It is a prototype, so I wanna make sure the PCB works and everything prior to us, uh, you know, building it, obviously. A nice little green PCB, got obliterated there on the top. Cannon Keys logo on the bottom there. Nice reflective, actually, Cannon Keys logo. It's pretty cool. Peek at the bottom there. It says obliterated on the bottom as well. Pretty decent. You do have uh, per key RGB support, or not RGB, uh, in switch LED support if you wanted to do that. This is a upcoming board for UPAS. This will be running soon. Yeah, so we definitely have an aluminum one. This is our top case here. We'll pop this open. I actually haven't even seen this yet. I don't even know what color the board is. I don't even know what color the board is. Uh, <laughs> you used the word flip, so obviously not. <laughs> no, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, did he send me polyfill? He did not send me polyfill, unless it's in here. Uh, which I'm going to assume is not. Let's see. Negative. That's going to be a, a negative on that one. No polyfill. So we got our plate and PCB here. It's solid. Solid. We will test this PCB in just a second. But we're going to open this up and check out what color we got first. We're going to see what color Upa sent us. Let's see if I got my knife here. Nope. Let me get this out of the drawer over here real quick. Here we go. And we definitely don't want to scratch this board up. So we're going to do this very carefully here. Okay, slide it out of here. Oh. Ooh. Can you guys see the color? Ooh. What do you guys know about that? That purple though. How much did this cost? This is a prototype. Oh, this is Upaz's prototype. Look at that purple though. Looking good. I wish I had laser to throw on this. That'd look good. Or Taro. Taro's shipping soon, right? Should be coming soon. <coughs> Yeah, look at that purple, boys. Oof, that looks good. So good. Let's throw some bump-ons on here real quick so we can set this bad boy over to the side. Now that we know our color. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The top one should not be a surprise unless he switched it up and, uh, you know, gave us a different color top. I would assume not. I am starving, boys. I have not eaten today and I'm fucking starving. We're going to make some chicken Alfredo tonight. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably see some of the stuff that I build randomly, all the bullshit that I build, or not build, sorry, cook. We'll be making, whipping it up in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Young chef stash over here. Damn, that looks like a thick chunk of aluminum. It's pretty thick. It's pretty, pretty beefy chunk of aluminum, you know? Pretty beefy, I would say. We'll set this guy over here. And pop our top of the case open here. Get this guy opened up. See what layout we're going with, huh? Very carefully. We am not, we are not trying to scratch this board up. Yep. 
do like we did the last one. Slide you out. There we go. All right. Top case. Let's go. Chicken Alfredo. Bomb dude. Chicken Alfredo. My homemade chicken Alfredo. I make the sauce myself. I don't use like canned sauce or jar sauce. Um, it's pretty smacking dude. It's pretty smacking. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it a few times. We make it like once a month. Ooh, that looks so good, this purple. It almost seems like the top is a little more matte or muted, maybe? No, yeah, maybe not, it looks about the same. Man, that purple is so clean. Here is our top case. Ooh, and we do have, so down here inside of our screw holes, oh, let me line that up a little bit better. Inside the screw holes there, there's a little divot. Come on now, there it is. There's a little divot right inside there for the O-ring to sit in. Upas mastered it. He knows, he knows the drill. He knows what he's doing. You know, he knows what he's doing. We're gonna set this guy over here for a quick little second. So our, it looks like our top case and our bottom case may be different. Let's see. They definitely are a little different. What do you guys think? Top case is a little darker than the bottom case. This is a prototype. He may have been uh, trying out different colors. Let's see, there we go. You guys can see that there. A little bit. The shade's a little bit off. Not majorly, but a little bit. Ooh, I'm excited to build this. This thing's gonna be solid. All right, let's test our PCB before we get to the build. Uh, we'll test this real quick, and then we will lube up our stabs. So, pop this guy open. Where's our tweezers at? I thought I got those out. I did. Beautiful. <laughs> Zambamon, good to see you, my friend. Zambamon, good to see you. It is nice to have you in chat, my friend, and thank you. Uh, Sandstorm is an absolutely fire set, in my opinion. Absolutely fire set. Um, let's see. Hmm, maybe our PCB is not flashed. Possibly. See if it's on via red one kenobi good to see you my friend oh duh i should probably plug the board back in it may help it may assist a bit um, let's see here let's see if it's on via Sure is. And we will open QMK here. Find our VIA folder, which we just downloaded. There we go. <coughs> All right, now we plug this guy back in. We're going to... It has the dip switch on here, so generally when you have that, you'll switch it to zero, flash it, and then switch it back to one. We're gonna try it without switching it. How are you today, Ridwan Kenobi? Good to see you in chat, my friend. Hope you're having a pretty good week so far. All right, so 
Now we switch this guy over. Plug it back in. And we are setting up Obliterated 75. Beautiful. Beautiful. And... You're trying to get a... F yeah, trying to get a fund for a new board. Oh yeah, I feel that, Ridwan. I feel that, my dude. <clears throat> Device is ready to go. Let's go, baby. Alright, let's... Uh, we can just test this with our current layout that's on it. Let's we'll see what we get here. Uh, we will go ahead and turn the click off on this. You don't want no clicking. You guys can see that there. Beautiful. Escape works perfect. Oh, did I skip three? There we go. We're looking good. What's this guy programmed as? Anything? It's delete. Okay. Convenient. I like having a delete key myself. We're looking pretty good here, boys. Backspace? Good. I want to do full backspace on this. Perfect. It's looking like our PCB is solid. How many of you guys are ready for the Obliterated 75 drop? How many of you guys are hoping to jump in on this? Have you heard of the Pandora keyboard? Dab City, I have heard of it, and it looks pretty gnarly. It would be a pretty good one to snag, in my opinion. Um, would not mind getting one of those to play with. The main board I'm extremely interested in right now, though, I'll be honest with you, is the Type K. Uh, the Tinted Alice layout seems very, very interesting to me. So... I've got major eyes on that. I'd like to get in contact with Gawk. Maybe I can uh, weasel me a uh, prototype to build on stream. That would be sick. But likelihood? Eh, probably not. It would be pretty cool to build one of those, though, I'll tell you. I'm going to get me one eventually. It's going to be an in-stock sale, too. That's going to be crazy. It's going to be... Crazy first come first serve. Oh, windows, get out of here, Windows. Thank you. Beautiful. Looks like we can do. Uh, looks like we're gonna do a seven U spacebar on this because we can. Well, this one may not be pro. Maybe this is a function key right there. Control. Yep. We're looking good. PCB is working solidly. Uh, do I have a link for the Pandora? I don't have a link, but you can, uh, you can put the link in here if you'd like. What's an in-stock sale? In-stock sale just means that it's not going to be a group buy. Uh, it just means that they're already made, so you don't have to pay for it and then wait for it to get made. Uh, this will be something that you can just buy and they will ship very shortly after because they were already produced or manufactured. Oh, oh, which keyboard? Sorry. Uh, the Type K. Type K from Gawk. It's a tinted Alice board. Uh, GMK in trays or other holder? Am I? Are you asking which one I like? the fucking trays the new ones are shit <laughs> if that's a real question if that's a real question uh the new ones are hot ass tbh just being real with you they're terrible uh we got some stabs around here we got some durox stabs the 
Plastic trays? Yeah, I, I vote plastic trays. I like the plastic trays with the lids that clip in. Yes. I'm not that they were a great solution by any means. They weren't perfect. JTK trays were much better. But those were better than the new trays. The new trays are hot garbage, IMO. Not a fan of them. Uh, so we need backspace, enter, left shift, and space bar. So we need these three boys and this boy. Nope. Probably will sell out instantly. Oh, it's going to sell out more than instantly. That shit's going to be gone in under 30 seconds. I think he said there's only going to be 100 of them or something. Uh, no, actually, I don't think quantity's been released. Uh, I was just looking at it yesterday. Ronnie Ronstein, what's up, Chipper? Good to see you, brother. How are you, my dude? Uh, I assume Dab City just posted a link for the Pandora. If you want to check that out, there that is. Pretty badass. Joe, I put a gingham together during the week. Nothing special, but wanted something to build. But it's quite nice to type on being plateless. I might see if I can get a stacked acrylic case for it. Spice it up a bit. Joe, that would be sick. Also, contact me in Discord. Maybe I can 3D print you a case for it. I'm rebuilding my printer tomorrow, starting tomorrow. It may take me two days. We'll see how it goes. Because <laughs> um, I'm going to do pretty much a whole new printer. I'm changing the main board. I'm changing everything. Pretty much everything. Um, electronics, the main board too, it's changing and everything. So, um, And the frame is going to be much larger. So I'll be able to print cases, full cases. So chat with me. Maybe we can get you a case printed for it, brother. Uh, I'm going, going to buy all the Type Ks, Visionaire. You can buy them all as long as you sell one to me. As long as you sell one to me, I don't give a flying sh <laughs> You can buy them all as long as you sell one to me. Those ginghams are pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm definitely going to be entering Jay's giveaway very soon. He, I think he said he would announce it tomorrow. Um, so I'll be entering that little giveaway. That'll be cool. Uh, one of these we do have clear inserts there's still Duroc stabs but uh, we have clear inserts I don't remember why I think I just no, I really couldn't tell you why <laughs> hey that could be super interesting I will hit you up for sure sounds good my dude sounds good just give me a shout give me a shout and we will try and get you a case printed for it uh, it shouldn't be too hard, you know, I could I could probably manage it. If I can get the plate file, I can definitely manage it. Well, I guess there's no plate to it. Well, if I can get the PCB file, I could definitely make you a case for it. If not, I still probably could, but... Uh, Caliber. Uh, Caliber. Oh, you going on... You fucked me up there with that one. Oh, you're going one? This board looks so nice. Oh, oof. So obliterated, if that's what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> yes, this board is very nice. Are you talking about my Kiko or the obliterated? I think you're talking about the obliterated. Yes, that purple is beautiful. I'll slide this over here so you guys can see it on the side screen here. There's our obliterated 75 prototype that we are building today. Both, yes. The Key Cult is absolutely amazing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, that is my 160, topped with GMK Sandstorm by Zambamon, who is in chat, or was in chat. I'm not sure if he's still here. Uh, shout out Jam uh, Zambamon, because, bro, you make some fire key sets. Um, Hamon's probably one of my top sets, by the way. <clears throat> Designer of GMK Hamon. Many, many others. Um, Hamon's just my favorite one. Sandstorm's definitely a very close second for me. Digging Sandstorm a lot. Mm -mm. Are they making a TKL? I think they will. Uh, are you talking about Key Cult? Yes. Key Cult has made a couple of TKLs. Uh, they currently have one TKL that they just did a raffle for, which is in production now, I guess. Um, so... Those should be probably early next year, I would guess. Or rather late this year, one of the two. One of the two. Purple keyboards are the best. I agree. Purple is pretty clean case color. It works very well. Um, I do think pink is another color that works very well in cases. Um, my private run that I'm planning to do soon will actually, one of the two options for the case 
the color options will be pink. Uh, so that's going to be good. I like pink. For case colors, at least. It's definitely a good case color. Oh, no, you meant canyon keys. Yes. There is a TKO. Yes, there is. Um, I'm blanking on the name on it right now for some reason. But uh, <clears throat> there is a TKO. I could scroll through my chat on Discord with Upas and find the name of it, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head for some reason. <laughs> uh, secret sale, yes, it is. Uh, I guess it's not really secret. It's just a private sale, not really... I'm not doing a lot of them. It's going to be a private sale, few folks. Yep. There may be a couple of spots open when the time comes for me to run it. Um, and if that happens, there will be a there will just be an announcement in my Discord and whoever hits me up first will get those spots. So, or we'll get to look at the board and then tell me if they want the spot. So, It'll be a uh, first come first serve basis if there are any spots left available over the or under the 20 mark that I plan on doing. So if all 20 spots aren't filled, then yes, there will be a couple extras. I'm just not calling it secret because I'm not hiding it. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. Man, I'm recovering from Funko shopping yesterday online. Bots win again. Oof. Bots win again on the Funko shopping, huh? What were you going for? I'm curious. What were you going for on the uh, Funko drop? Licky Lips. Uh, we're talking about... I was referring to my private buy that I plan on running very soon. Uh, the 20 spots. There will only be 20 of them made. And then it's pretty much a like a friends and family private buy. So not really a public thing as far as the buy itself. But there, if there are any spots left out of the 20, once I go to run it, I will announce those in my Discord. So make sure you're in there if you want a chance at getting one of those. Uh, exclamation point Discord gets you a link, by the way. If you want to come hang out with me and the boys. Wait, people bought Funkos? Oh, I believe that for sure. Oh, yeah. There's bots for everything. Shoes, clothes, Funkos, etc. Anything limited, really. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Anything. Uh, Scaramoshi and Dwight with Princess. I couldn't tell you what either one of those are. Couldn't tell you what either one of those are. But, uh... Sucks you didn't get them. The I, sounds like the drops are kind of rough if people are botting the Funko drops. I didn't know that was a thing, honestly. I mean, I know... I just didn't know they were dropped in limited amounts like that, I guess. I've never really gotten into Funkos. Mm -hmm. They're kind of cool, don't get me wrong. I just... I don't need another thing to collect. I already have a problem collecting everything else that I get a hold of. <laughs> So, I don't need another thing to collect. Let's let's be real here, you know? This is 205 grade zero, by the way, that I'm lubing these stabs with, if you didn't know. Uh, any more info on the private buy? Um, it's a TKO. It's uh, only going to be offered in win keyless option. Uh, F13 layout. It will use an H88 PCB. If that uh, refers you to the lady, the layout of it. But that's about it. Um, yeah. Don't want to reveal too too much, just because it's not open to buy, unfortunately. So. 
Uh, Scaramushi from Samurai Jack Cartoon Network. I, I remember Samurai Jack. I understand. I remember that. Dwight with Princess from The Office show. I don't... I When I read Dwight, I assumed The Office, but I don't get the with Princess part, I guess. Um, maybe I... I haven't watched The Office all the way through, so I can't say anything. Um, maybe that's why I don't get the with Princess part. Possibly. Fucking love Samurai Jack. There you go. I remember watching Samurai Jack when I was younger, for sure. Uh, I just can't say I've watched it since. I have not seen it since then. It's been quite some time since I've seen it. Uh, is that a palm plate or FR4? That would be FR4 plate. FR4. Should be pretty solid. I've used FR4, I think, two or three other times now, and uh, I liked it. It was pretty decent. It was not a bad experience with FR4. Uh, I've really grown to like carbon fiber. I like carbon fiber plates a lot. The uh, poppy sound that you get from them is pretty good. I like it a good bit. Um, the PC half plate that I have in this is fucking amazing. That thing's really good. <coughs> Uh, I'm 27. I still load up a bunch of cartoons in the morning. I can't blame you, Licky Lips. I feel you there. If I didn't have to wake up and go immediately to work, I I would do the same. Even on the weekends, I generally wake up and we're off to do something. Or we we have plans on the weekends, just because we both work during the week, so we try to do things on the weekends. Uh, so I don't. Then again, I don't really watch TV much. Not too much of a TV person. Uh, occasionally I'll watch some tube with the lady, but that's about it. That is about it. FR4 is surprisingly good for the cheap price? I think so. I think FR4 actually turns out pretty well most of the time. Uh, it's been pretty... In the... What was it? Uh, the wrecked 1800s? That FR4 is where it's at. I dig it. It's very solid in that big of a board. Like a little bit of flex, but not to the point where it's just like super bouncy. Because at that size, you don't want too much flex, you know? That size of a board, you wouldn't want it to be too, too flexy. <clears throat> We're using some Deerox stabs today. Get old Deerox. Does Clavier use FR4 plates? Um, maybe I've seen him use brass plates. Um, I would assume he probably has FR4 plates. I, I think. Uh, I think if the 160 had a wind keyless or HHKB, it would be, it would kind of ruin the board. Um, I don't know. I feel like if they made a 160 or the, the 260, if they do a 260, I think if they do a wind keyless option, it's probably going to be pretty popular. I personally like wind keyless myself. Uh, this one, I don't mind it at all. It actually goes, I don't know. I like it. It looks really good. Still aesthetically pleasing. Um, but generally, overall, I do prefer wind keyless boards, um, aesthetic-wise. Mainly just aesthetic-wise. Not that, you know, you can remap the wind key anywhere and use it elsewhere. So, you know, function-wise, it doesn't really change anything. Bezels are too, sm too small on the side if they use wind keyless or HHKB. That's true. The small side bezels might be a little odd because the blocker would look much larger. Um, so I could understand that. I could definitely understand that. For sure. I uh, would like to try out a copper plate. I think that would be sick. I'm very interested in trying a copper plate. Though late, as of late, I've kind of steered away from metal plates in overall. Um, not that I don't like them by any means, but I've just kind of steered away. Want to try everything else that's not metal. I've tried all the metal ones, so except for copper, I guess would be cool to try copper um but fr4 pc 
um, palm, carbon fiber. I'm about to start making PLA plates for multiple different boards. Um, so if you need a plate for your board, give me a shout. Uh, make sure you're in my Discord. <clears throat> but I'm going to print a PLA plate for the 165, and that's what I'm going to build that with instead of probably the brass plate uh, that usually comes with it. Mr. Mick, thank you for the follow, and I appreciate you tuning in and hanging out with us today. How's your week going, my friend? Um, so, yeah, we're going to print us a couple of plates, and then I can print plates for other layouts as long as... Well, I could print it the exact ones if the files are live, like if the files are open source. If not, we can make a plate for it and then uh, just go from there or see what's going on. You know, we could probably figure it out. Of course, I'm not going to do this without permission. I will ask before uh, if I'm making any plates with anyone else's files. I will get permission. Don't worry. <clears throat> not one of those guys that'll just start doing shit and sell other people's stuff. Not good. That is not the move. Oh, nice. I can't believe that lane is standing up. That was kind of cool. And there we go. Last stab lubed up. We just got to do the wires here and then we can start popping this bad boy together. Hello from Italy. Hope your stream is going well. Well, welcome in. Hello from America. Welcome from America over here in Tennessee. Um, thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us. I guess my timing on Thursdays really is just EU friendly and uh, over time zone, like overseas. I like it, man. It's awesome. Glad to see all of you guys. I can imagine the copper being pretty stiff. Yeah, I can imagine copper plates being pretty stiff, but also it could be nice. I mean, I like brass and it's stiff as fuck. So, did the known keyboard builders automatically win the 160 and 165? Most definitely not. <laughs> that would be, that'd be sweet. If that's the case, they need to let me in on that and let me start winning some key colts <laughs> instead of having to buy them. Shit. That'd be nice. Um, I don't think so. Though I do know that apiary got a 265 and uh teha got a 265 man i'm trying to get me a 265 i don't know how it's gonna happen yet <laughs> i'll probably just enter the raffle and win one obviously i don't have the uh the the streamer clout that they have quite yet so uh you know one day maybe <laughs> One day we'll get there, right, boys? Aftermarket. Aftermarket life. Gotta love the aftermarket life. Unfortunately. But well worth, in my opinion. Well worth. Yeah, those guys are going to be keepers for me, though, so I'm not too worried about. I'd like to get the TKL to match them. I w I'm not going to lie. Like, if I can get a win keyless number one TKL that's black and brass, that's my move right there. Match all three of those together. It'd be so nice, dude. Could you imagine? It'd be so fire. It'd be so fire. Uh, Dab City, all right, y'all have to go and be an essential worker at Subway Sandwiches. <laughs> all right, Dab City, good to see you, my friend. Hope you have a good day at work. We will see you next time, my friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You trying for extras? Yeah, of course. I'm going to shoot for extras. I'd like to get another color. I'm going to go for a different color, op obviously. I'm going to get, like, a white one. That'd be dope. Get a white one. Oof. Oof. Twist. 
could be fire. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh goodness. Yo, this thing's gonna be clean though. Purple board. I really wish I had a purple keycap set. You know what? I do have EPBT Vaporwave from Novel Keys, which actually belongs to. Well, he hasn't paid me yet, so it doesn't belong to him. I'm just kidding. Ronnie, Ron Cena, are you still in here? Chip, your uh, keycaps. I'm going to use them today, I think. We might throw them on this board and see how it turns out. It's the only purple set that I have at the moment. What do you guys think? Should we do EPBT Vaporwave on the purple obliterated 75? I think it's going to be our best match, at least. We could do something else, but uh, that's probably going to be our best looking set on the board, in my opinion. They are sexy as fuck. They are pretty clean. They are honestly pretty solid. For the 50 bucks that that set was, well worth IMO. <clears throat> they match the, the case best? Yeah, they're going to match the case pretty well, I think. They would match pretty well. I'll put just a bit of lube here because it didn't get too much on the wire. There we go. Beautiful. Two more wires. The compatibility, the compatibility of those sets are so good too. Yo, facts, because you get split spacebar support for the Ergo layouts, or Alice as most people call them. Um, you also get the extra B in the base kit, which is unheard of. That's wild. Um, so, yeah, the compatibility that you get, it's pretty, it's pretty damn nuts for the price point, especially for a $50 keycap set. I think it was like... I'm pretty sure it was $60 shipped, like 58, 59 bucks shipped for a set that has that kind of compatibility. I was like, yeah, dude, you, you gotta snag one of these. I told Chip about it. He has a Rukia on the way. I was like, bro, it's the move. Get you one of those $50 keycap sets. You got the extra B, you got the split space bars. You're good to go. And bam. Actually, I'm pretty sure I bought it and then just told him about it, and he said, "Yeah, I want that." <laughs> I really think that's my—that's that, how it went. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's gonna look even more sexy on a Rukia. That's facts, dude. It's gonna look nice on the Rukia. It's gonna look nice on there. I'm so ready for those. So ready. I think we're looking November-ish. November, maybe. That'd be fucking sweet. Maybe a little before then. I haven't talked to Jax in a bit, so I don't know exactly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also, not ABS. Yes, not ABS. It is PBT. Which is, to some people people prefer abs i generally do prefer gmk sets um but i'm not opposed to pbt sets now that a lot of them are actually pretty decent uh before you would run into quality issues i'm not huge on the legends on them most of them uh, but some of them are pretty good all right, our last one here. Let's get our space bar lubed up. Got a Clavier and Switch Couture coming. Let's go. So you got, uh, what did you get from Clavier? Did you get a uh, TKL or a Alice layout? Which, uh, which one did you get? The Ergo layout? Charcoal Alice. Oof, that's going to be nice. So did you get a brass plate with that or a copper plate? What uh, what plate material is it? JTK Assassin. There you go. That will be solid. Did you guys see the new Star Wars set? It's like a PBT Samurai, I think is what it's called. My buddy posted it in in a uh, in my Discord earlier. I'm gonna have to jump on that probably. Pretty cool set. go 
get this last one up lubed up over here little coating on this guy and a little extra glob on the end there and we'll wipe this guy off Let's uh, get these guys installed in our PCB here. I'm actually going to go uh, wash my hands real quick, boys and girls. Let me go wash the hands. BRB, give me just uh, two seconds. Give me two seconds. BRB. Boom, okay, we are back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, brass plate, there you go. That brass will be solid. Gotta love ABS Shine. I personally like the Shine on GMK sets, but I only like it if I do it myself. I don't want to buy a set that's Shined. I want to Shine it myself. Coffee, how are you, my dude? Uh, did they not cancel KeyCon this year? No, they did not cancel it. They moved the date to September 20th, which is my birthday, by the way. Um, so KeyCon's on my birthday in Denver, and I'll fucking be there. As long as they don't change it up any between now and then, they don't do anything different, I'll be there. Road trip it? Hard no. Flying my ass there. Coffee, you're crazy. I'll road trip it if you drive. I'll ride with you. You can just pick me up on the way. You gotta drive past me anyways. Perfect. It'd be beautiful. Uh, our birthday's 10 days before, your birthday's 10 days before mine. Let's go, dude. 10 days before. So yours is the 30th, eh? Uh, shine is like a fart. You only like your own. Facts, Yorn. Facts. <laughs> I'm fucking done with you. I gotta come there. So I gotta come pick you up. Or I gotta come to you and then you drive us there. I mean, I'd much rather drive to you than drive to Denver, I guess. I'll drive to you if you drive to Denver. <clears throat> That's fair. I'll drive to you, and then I just get to get in your car and ride with you there. But Jesse's coming too. Jesse's coming with me. So it's me and Jesse. We're both going. It's going to be lit. You should come, Coffee. If, you're not, if you don't already have it planned, you should definitely come, Coffee. You could fly out with me and, uh, me and Jesse. You could... Come up here. You can. Uh, I've got a spare room in the house. You can fucking come up here, stay the night here with me, dude. We can fly out early in the morning. You can fly with us, dude. Make it happen, brother. Uh, so it looks like I need some screws here. I've got uh, screws in. I'm missing two screws. Okay. I got two screws in here. Let me grab my stab box. Get some screws here. We just need a couple of these boys. Saul, so, what's up, dude? How are you, brother? Good to see you today, my friend. What are you up to? A couple of extra screws there. Boom. Always gotta have spares. I'm pretty much out of stabs. Your boy's gotta get some stabs ordered. By the way, if you guys need stabilizers, uh, typer.tools, if you guys wanna hit uh, exclamation point sponsor, you can get a link 
Um, or you can just go to typer.tools and use code STASH at checkout. We'll save you 5% on stabs that are now in stock. They got Duroc stabs in stock if you need them. Okay, shill is over. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you need stock, if you need some stabs. I just ordered some last night because your boy is low. I got no stabs pretty much. I forgot I actually charged my screwdriver. Amazing. I forgot I charged it. Because I always, I never charge this thing. <clears throat> Nate the Great, you made it. What's up, my dude? Uh, actually building your KBD-8 now. Let's go. Which one are you building? The PC one or the, uh, the one for your lady, the Rose Gold Boy? That Rose Gold one was looking pretty good, my dude. Not gonna lie. Was looking pretty good. I will be building a PC KBD-8X very soon. And I'm excited to use the keycap set that I have planned for it. I might be more excited about the keycap set than the board. Maybe. Maybe. The keycap set's going to be kind of cool. I've had it for quite some time. I just have not used it yet because uh, I haven't had TKL in some time. So it'll be cool to use the, the keycap set. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is this board as amazing as I think it is? Uh, yes, this board seems pretty damn nice. The Obliterated 75 seems pretty good. Um, I will show it off a little more in just a moment. Let me get these stabs in installed here. Uh, and I'll give you a little preview of the board again. Because you just made it in here. We're doing a full backspace here, boys and girls. Full backspace. It's the move. It's the move. Um, maybe we're doing full backspace here. There we go. Get in there now. Get your ass in there now. There we go. That one was kind of a snug fit to get into that hole, let me tell you. A little bit. We're looking pretty good on spots. I don't think we're touching uh, two spots here on any of our screws. So we're looking pretty good there. Not going to have to use any O-rings, I don't think, or washers. Let's get our enter on here. guys a little snug as well uh you said you were building an 8x selq yes i plan to building uh selk i plan to build an 8x very soon i don't know exactly when um pretty soon i have a polycarb one chilling so i'll build that soon win keyless polycarb will build that soon PC, yes, yes. Uh, going to build the same board as him? Hell yeah. The PC 8X is a pretty solid board in my opinion. It's actually far nicer than I expected. It, uh, the, those 8X boards are pretty decent, man. For the price point too, solid. <clears throat> you want to get a deep blue 8X? Oh yeah, there you go. That'll be sharp. I had a green one. Uh, I've also had a PC one. I got rid of both of those, and then I picked up another PC one. <laughs> if that says anything about the quality, they're pretty decent boards. Not too shabby. Uh, boom, let's slide this guy in here. There we go. And this is our top case here. I'll show you guys. Since Nate made it in a little late there. Late Nate. Here's our beautiful purple case, dude. Look at this thing. Things fire. Here's our base. Pretty damn solid there. That's a little chunk of metal there, you know? That's a little chunk of metal. We got alpacas. 
lubed and filmed by your uh, your one and only Johnny. I lubed and filmed these uh, just this week, actually. And I also, uh, these ones are going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass because I did use some thick films on these, uh, 3D printed ones, and they were a little thicker than intended to be. Let's see here, get this guy in. Hopefully we can get this guy in, hey? <clears throat> These films may be holding us back. Might be too thick, you know? Now, I don't think the switch is closed at all. That shit is... We're gonna set that to the side since I put it in my mouth, obviously. But it is not closed. There we go, let's try this guy. See if you want to go in. Hmm. The thick films may have been a bad move on the alpacas. May have been a bad move on the alpacas. Let's see. Here's what we'll do. We will. I'm not going to take the time to sit here and uh, swap these films out on stream. That's for sure. Fuck that. So. Boom. We got another set of alpacas. These ones are actually lubed with uh, TX films. So they're a little bit thinner. Uh, so maybe we won't uh, run into the issues there <clears throat> with those guys closing. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Pop these guys in. Mm -mm -mm. Oof, the even blockers. On. Damn, how many people it, people have 8Xs in chat? Probably a lot, honestly. A good fair bit. Uh, when your alpaca, alpacas are still in transit? Facts. Uh, Jags, when you ha you've had alpacas since release, yo, sames. I've had alpacas since the first release. Uh, I never did use the whole batch. <coughs> Actually, this is from the first release, I think. These ones here. So, these were used, though. I did have these in my OSA. Uh, I ended up swapping to H1s in the OSA. I do enjoy H1s, they're pretty nice. That's what's in the key cult there. H1s have turned out pretty solid. Mm -hmm. This is precisely why I bought Kibo films. So the only reason those films were like that uh, was because they were my 3D printed films. Those were not, uh, those were not thick films from the, th the people that make thick films. I was just saying that the films are very thick. <laughs> that they are thick films. So I, I uh, just swapped to these guys for now. Uh, those were a film that I printed myself with my 3D printer. They are a little thick, so I'm going to remake some and make them just a little thinner. We'll see how it goes. Uh, gotta go take a few runs of stuff over to our new place. I'll holler at you soon, Stash. Enjoy the night. All right, Coffee. Appreciate you coming in and hanging out. And enjoy moving some things to the new place. I hope you're liking it, man. Hope you're liking the new new place, my dude. Uh... Yeah, you're a, you're a sucker for the F13 and Ever block, even blocker spacing. Same. I feel that, Nate. Great. I feel that. I uh, My TKL actually has that spacing as well. TKL does. I recently put Gat Yellow Spring and Milky Top on my alpacas and it's golden. Oh yeah? Might be worth trying out. I can see that being alright. I can see that being alright.
I, uh, I don't do too, too much when it comes to franken switches. Um, I'll swap springs, you know, if I need them. I personally think Alpaca's stock springs are a little light. These are stock springs, uh, uh, sorry, stock springed alpacas, um, but I don't mind using these now for the reasoning of um, this is a prototype that I will be returning to Upas eventually. So I will have to desolder this so it doesn't really matter. So once I desolder it again, or once I desolder these switches again for the second time of desoldering, I will then spring swap them probably. Just because I'd like to have a, a little bit heavier spring. I like the 65 gram, the 65 gram-ish or so, maybe 67. These guys just have a very light bottom out. The They measure their bottom out at like, what, 65 or 62 or something like that, which is pretty light actuation force. That guy's got a little solder on the in there we'll swap that guy out less high pitch with the milky top and of course that yellow spring is just beauty definitely try it out I feel that I might have to give that a shot and see what it's talking about my dude see what it's talking about Niv how are you my dude good to see you thank you sandstorm looks really fucking good on the 160 in my opinion I think it goes great uh, with those brass accents pretty clean Mm, 62 gram bottom out pretty sure yeah pretty light pretty light pretty light boys similar to ink reds exactly yeah they're pretty light red inks are light af2 i actually don't use red inks i did order some black inks on the recent restock the other day because I haven't had inks in quite some time. I uh, I got inks whenever they first came out and had the leaf issues, and I dealt with those batches, or the batch of those that I got, and uh, I never reordered inks after that. I got other switches. I really like creams. Um, I really like alpacas. They're pretty damn solid. Uh, H1s have taken a spot in my top three for sure, because H1s are pretty solid. I would... I could go with a little bit lighter spring in the H1, maybe. Not that it's too heavy, but it could be just a hair lighter. I think those are uh, 70 gram, maybe, or something. So, could be a hair lighter there. But they feel really good. H1s are a solid-ass switch. Love my inks. Yeah, inks are pretty good switch. They're pretty decent. Uh, now that they're not having leaf issues, they should be good. If there's one set I could have, it's probably Sandstorm. Yeah, Sandstorm's a pretty good set. It's pretty clean. It's neutral. It goes well with most colors. I think new, uh, Sandstorm is neutral enough to go on pretty much any board. And you'd be happy with it. Not a huge fan of ink red. Something I would use... Uh, personally would go for ink blacks yes same same definitely the same the reds are a bit light just a bit light <clears throat> I have silent inks that I stem swap with creams yeah silent creams are still a tad scratchy but I like it and cream in ink sound feel great I feel that I probably wouldn't do that myself just because I do like creams with their standard stems um, I'm okay with that little bit of stick slip you get until you lube them. So, uh, I like them. I'm a big fan of creams, myself. Haters gonna hate, you know what I mean? Haters gonna hate. Ooh, we're cutting it close with this one. We might use a, uh, a silent alpaca on the space bar. Oh, those are all blanks. Let's see. We got a couple of more here. We might have to use a couple of the ones that we filmed ourselves. Let's see, get this guy in there. No, that guy definitely has too much. Just got a little little claw of a solder on there. Sliding this guy in. Nope. 
Those films aren't the move. Not on here. Nope. Let's see. So, here's what we'll do. What are these H1s? Yes, we got a couple of H1s. We're going to put H1s in our arrow keys. <coughs> Just a couple of them. We're going to swap the... Hello? Is this not closed? It's not closed, is it? There we go. Much better. Maybe get in there. Bitch. Here we go. So we got arrows are going to be H1s, and then we will swap. We don't want our uh, alphas. We definitely don't want our alphas split up between two different kinds of switches, that's for sure. So we'll swap out some of these guys up here. Down here to our alpha slots. Um, hello. Oh, hello. And we need one more. Take this guy here. There we go. And we will put an H1 in our space bar since it's just a bit heavier than the alpacas. And I do tend to like a little bit heavier of a space bar. So we'll swap that guy in there. Uh, we got a couple of silent alpacas, which we just desilenced. So these are basically the same thing as a regular alpaca. We just uh, took the silency ring off. It is a different colored housing, but not going to make a big difference there. Why we took this guy out. Oh, this was the the filmed one. Yeah, that's a no-go. That guy was a no-go as well. Was this one? That one's not. Oh, that one had a piece of uh, solder on the pin there, so we're going to swap that guy back out too. We'll just throw some H1s in the rest of these, and we'll get to soldering. How about that, boys and girls? So we got, uh, we got alpacas on most of them. We're just a couple of them short. Uh, should you lube alpacas lightly or not at all? I would lube them lightly. You do not want to lube alpacas super heavy, especially if you're using the stock springs. Specifically if you're using the stock springs. Don't do too heavy, too heavy of a lube for sure. Uh, I can't find silent alpacas anywhere and I want them for my first build. Good luck, you have to get them on a restock. Uh, that is the only chance to get silent alpacas or alpacas in general is uh, on the restocks. Which do happen occasionally but you need to be on the ball when they happen because they sell out rather quickly. Um, most switches these days do. If it's going to be a good switch, you'll you'll run into that most of the time. Uh, we got one bent pin here. We got one bent pin there. So we got a couple of them. We'll get those guys fixed up real quick. Of course, it's one of the ones that we just put in there. This guy back in where it belongs. Here we go. And it was this one. <clears throat> Got one more there. Straighten this bad boy out. There we go. And we had one that was looking like, oh, it was our space bar there. So it looks like it's not bent. It looks like it just 
the very end of it is completely folded over. Though it made it all the way through, I'd rather straighten it out. Now we'll just swap it out. How about that? We'll swap you out with another one. And there we go. Now we're back on track. Let's get our soldering iron rolling here. Set this stuff to the side. Let's move our case over here. Just so it's not in the way. We don't want to get anything on this while we're soldering. And we will flick this guy out. What did I do with the little tube for this? There we go. You gotta keep your brush in the tube. Especially if you're uh, using the same brush repetitively. I use the same brush every time. Mm -mm -mm. There were some moss switches yesterday which are just recolored JWK. Yeah, you can pretty much just get any JWK jigs. Uh, you'd probably be happy with them, especially if you're just wanting a lighter spring you can spring swap them you can get the uh, whatever jwk for the most part they're all pretty similar they're not the same switch but they're all pretty similar all gonna be pretty similar i am gonna take this guy and move him away because i am not letting solder splash on my key colts <laughs> set that beautiful guy out of the way here bring this up get our solder over here there we go we should be good give this another sec to finish heating up and then we'll be ready to rock boys and girls <clears throat> let's get us some soldering knocked out we're gonna tack these corner pieces here these four corner switches get these guys tacked down And we'll go from there once we get these guys done. Oh, we need our solder fan, boys. What are we doing? We're slacking. Need to get our solder fan going. I forgot I unplugged this guy the other day to charge the screwdriver. There we go. And grab our cord here. Voila. All right, we got our fan up and going. Let's get these corners done real quick. sure you're set all the way down before you get your corners tacked in you want to make sure your switches are seated all the way now that we got our four corners we can go through and knock these out row by row real quick they are pretty cheap like 49 cents each uh what are we talking about is 49 cents each i missed it jdbk switches I think they're five, 55 cents each, right? If that's what we're talking about. Knock these guys out real quick.
How's the stream looking, boys and girls? I know uh, last stream we crashed a few times. That wasn't my fault. It was actually not uh, anything to do with my internet. Apparently, uh, Streamlabs was having some issues. Um, I was not the only person running into it, so... Hopefully all is well now and back moving smoothly. We can only hope. Yeah, the recolored moss ones. Oh, the recolored moss ones were 49 cents. Oof. I probably should have picked some of those up. Though I just got another order of inks and another order of creams myself. To have on hand we are going to use creams in the 165 but that's going to be um, a set that i've been breaking in and using for quite some time now um, so we are going to use that set out of my hot swap board mm, got to use the moss ones for a green build facts That'd be kind of cool if you use that on like a camping build. That would be pretty clean. I could see I actually had a green KBD 8x when they first did when they did the first round of them uh, the green one was pretty cool I had camping on there and it looked pretty good would have been dope to match the switches to it not that that you would really see them but you know just to know they match would be kind of cool what switches am I using for this build uh, if you hit exclamation point build, you can get a uh, a list of what we're using, but we are using alpacas that have been lubed with 205 grade zero, 105 on the springs, and switch filmed. Good old packas. We're already done with our, or we're about to be done with our second row here. I almost soldered it, almost fill the hole where the split backspace would be. Whoopsie. Almost slipping, boys and girls. What happened? We are cruising through this. Sorry about that, boys and girls. I am uh, just trying to knock this soldering out kind of quickly. Getting this done real snappy. I'm excited to try out this prototype. Upas did tell me that uh, the blocker is just a little short, so uh, I guess we'll see that once it's built. But that's something that's been fixed. Obviously, this is a prototype, so you uh, you won't have to deal with that in the production run. Pretty solid board though. I'm digging it so far. This PCB looks pretty good as well. It's not looking like uh, any issues. Everything seemed to fit all right. 
and it was already on via which is fucking amazing that's really good it's already via supported so that's pretty sweet Get our stepped caps lock because stepped caps is the right caps. If you didn't know, well, now you know. Kemper, good to see you, my friend. How are you? Uh, as well as Spelunk Punk, good to see you as well, my friend. How are you doing this evening? How are you guys' week going? having a good day so far i went to pick up a batch of those mod switches but then i was slammed with a with a 16 dollars shipping definitely not paying that much for shipping for recolored alpacas i can understand that i guess it makes sense understand that <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly what you said whenever you got to that process no shit brother that's some pricey shipping. Where are you at? $16 shipping is pretty pricey. Are you over the pond? Pretty good, man. Testing a bunch of dry builds for the unicorn. Ooh, there you go. I personally, uh, I liked inks in the unicorn. Those came out pretty solid. Um, I think H1s would be a great option. I think H1s would sound good in that build, uh, just because it is like the the O-ring gasket mounted board, so I feel like you get a little bit more switch sound out of those, and I like that. So uh, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. I think the, uh, I'm actually going to be building a unicorn very soon. Now that I think about it, uh, I will be building a gray unicorn that's, the weight was seracoded and it's going to be fucking sharp. I can't wait for that guy to get here. Hopefully that comes in tomorrow or Saturday. Maybe we'll build it Sunday. You talking to me over there, Google? Get the fuck out of here. You guys hear that? What the heck? I get $18 shipping from Dixie. Oof, Nate, that's rough. You're in Florida? Damn, you really shouldn't have had that bad of shipping then. That doesn't make no sense. Uh, my week has been going pretty good, getting a ton of different JWK switches soon. FFF, alpacas, NK silks, all on the way. Now I just need some some boards to put them in yeah kemper i feel that it's harder to get boards than it is switches and it's hard to get switches so if that says much it's uh it's a pain in the ass especially when they do limited runs on things and you got to be quick with it to get you one the in stock sales are brutal everywhere because First come, first serve is yikes. But the hunt never ends, I guess, you know? I, uh, I slept on the bear 60 because I thought I was gonna have another day or two to buy it. And then he ended it early. Ended it early, so uh, yeah. Uh, just needs, just need, yeah. Just put together a vent black with PC plate right now. Sounds promising. There you go. That'll be solid. Uh, all shipping prices are terrible. USPS is getting completely slammed. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to be lubing for so long. Yeah, dude. All those switches you're gonna be lubing for a while. Uh, tell me about it. I have so many switches that I don't know what to do with. S uh, Spelunk, I've probably got like a thousand switches or more. 
maybe more like 1500 switches and another 200 on the way and there's probably a couple hundred of those that are lubed so I feel your pain I've got to I've got to lube some switches myself I lubed up H1s and I lubed up the alpacas this week so I will lube up some other switches next week we'll see how it goes trying to just have them pre-lubed ready to go that way when I get a build I can have a couple of different choices and I don't have to worry about it I can just grab one of the bags and be like yo let's go I'm throwing these in there you know what I mean it'd be a lot easier a little more convenient when I get new boards in to do that versus oh shit now this board's in here now I gotta lube so many switches real quick so I can build this you know what I mean I like pre-lubing them having a bag of lube switches ready to go a little more convenient international shipping is even worse yeah I believe that rabbit international shipping is probably pretty fucking rough I have avoided international shipping for the most part since this whole thing happened uh, I actually have a giveaway item that I'm gonna give away that I'm waiting to ship out because shipping is so ridiculous for overseas right now it's just not worth uh, so I will be shipping that out soon once hopefully once things get back to normal and we are done with this soldering boys and girls There we go. Shipping for my Cajal was 70 USD. It was hard to swallow. Yeah, no shit. That's a yikes. Yeah, I feel that. Just can't get around to lubing and modding all these switches. Yeah, that's a bit of switches to lube, my dude. You got a lot. I got a lot. I understand. <clears throat> all right. Let's plug this bad boy in and test it real quick. Give it a little test. See if everything's working. All right, launch our tester here. We'll pop this up for you guys. We will make it silent because nobody wants to hear that. We're looking pretty good. All good, boys and girls. I like it. I like it. I skipped a row. There we go. And it looks like everything is working. Control space. All windows control we're good boys and girls we are solid so we can slap this guy together let's get this bad boy together what do you guys think we got I wonder why there are different size screws here there's not case screws in this already huh that's why so we got longer ones for the case shorter ones for the plates that's going to make sense to me. Uh, are there only a f Okay, okay, there they are. Six case screws. There we go. Let's get our O-rings here. Can't forget our O-rings. Make this guy burger mount. Here we go. I don't know if we need all these, but we're going to dump them all out just in case. 
We're gonna slide one on each of our screws, our plate screws here. So we're gonna need one on each of them. Make this guy. Uh, Substash new Brutal board. Yes, this is the Obliterated 75. It is in the Brutal lineup from Upas of Cannon Keys. Yes. And I think it the purple case looks fucking amazing. Looks so good. I think we're gonna I think our best bet for keycap sets is gonna be the EPBT Vaporwave set. Or it's not EPBT, I guess it's PBT Vaporwave set from Novel Keys. Um so I think that's gonna be our move. Uh Roy Z Puff. Uh is this a gaming keyboard? Any keyboard is a gaming keyboard if you game on it. I don't see how it wouldn't be. It looks nice indeed. Thank you. Appreciate you. I think it's looking pretty good. All right. So now we get to slide these guys onto our O-ring slots. We're into our little slots here for our O-rings to sit in. You do want to get these guys relatively lined up pretty well so that uh, your screw goes down inside there and the o-ring does not move around get this lined up here there we go get these bottom four on here like we got a little scratch here on the inside of the case it is a prototype though so it's to be expected some little issues this is probably past hands before i'm not sure if uh actually i think upas sent this directly to me so maybe nobody else messed with it upas might have played with it a bit maybe he built it once there we go all right now we set this guy up here Beautiful. And we'll set our screws in here. And uh, hopefully we can not mess up any of these uh, second O-rings down here. Go straight through on that guy. Perfect, perfect. Here we go, straight through on that guy, beautiful. Get our corner ones set up and then we can do the middle ones there. We're not tightening these very tight, just finger tight. Just finger tight, you don't wanna put these guys on too tightly. That kind of defeats the purpose of the O-rings. They're supposed to add a little bit of bounce to it. Just a little bit of flex. There we go. Let's get this guy in there. We'll flip it over and take a peek at it. Make sure none of our O-rings are sticking out too far or anything. Okay, we're looking pretty good there. I have to snug this guy up just a hair. Let's see. Okay. We're going to try and get all these pretty evenly tightened so that we get a even typing experience here. Not too tight, just barely snugged up on it.
There we go. We're looking good, looking good. Check this side. Can snug these up just a hair. There we go. Snug this one up another little hair. All right, and this guy match it to it. Beautiful. Look at that, boys and girls. Slide this uh, bottom case on here. Review, what's up, my dude? And a pizza guy, how are you, brother? Review, what have you been up to, my dude? How are you today, brother? How are you? Ooh, slap this bottom case on here, and we got ourselves a build, boys and girls. All right. Um, of course, this is not going to fit down in there. Nope. <clears throat> so we are going to have to grab this guy. There we go. Um, let's see. It's a long screw. Okay. Do I have one that's not so sharp here on the end? I do, I just don't know where it's at. It's a long screw. Get in there, bud. Switch back to this one. This one had a bit better of a grip on there. Uh, cop that 2.0? Yeah, dude. That shit's fire. That's going to be dope. That is going to be very nice, my guy. I'm stoked for you. I'm glad you grabbed that. That 2.0 is going to be slick. Mmm... -mm -mm. I just saw someone posting their flipping Google Sheets page with like 10 gram worth of stuff and two number one TKL revision two and they are selling the think they are selling think 6.5 group buy slots. What's really going on? What's really going on? Spend too much on aftermarket boards? I feel you there, brother. Will there ever be an R2 for Sandstorm? I've been really stuck on Sandstorm lately. I don't know. Um, Zambamon, if you're still in chat. Maybe you are. Zambamon, hello. If Zambamon's still in chat, maybe he can answer for you. If not, I couldn't tell you if Sandstorm's coming back. I honestly do not know. One can hope uh, that it would return because it's a very nice set in my opinion, and I think it's going to be pretty. Uh, it would sell pretty well now. It didn't sell a whole lot of kits the first time. Ooh, boys! So we do have a couple of switches that are H1s, just because we ran out of alpacas. Boom! Just a few. Our arrow keys, our space bar, and our. F11, F12, and delete key. <clears throat> uh, Sandstorm is underrated, said it in the beginning. Facts. Facts, facts. I agree. I think Sandstorm's super underrated. I think it's a clean-ass set. Looks really good. I think it goes really well on the on the key cult, too, myself. If I do say so myself. All right. Let's clean this up a little bit. And then we're going to throw some keycaps on this bad boy. Uh, as far as keycaps options, we have, I think we should go with, uh, maybe we should go with the PBT Vaporwave set from Novel Keys, just because it would probably match pretty decently well. Um, but we could go 8008, uh, white on black. Um, I have minimal, but it's on another board. I could take that off. Uh, Hamon. <coughs> Uh, 
Low numbers from the first sale. Yeah, first sale was not a whole lot. Uh, I feel like marshmallows would fit this pretty well. Marshmallow switches. I feel like these these uh, alpacas look kind of good in here. The pink with purple. It goes kind of good. I would love to see Sandstorm with Arabic sub-legends because, you know, sand. Yeah. Facts. Uh, McGurk says 8008 or white on black. Okay. So you don't think the PBT Vaporwave set would do it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Would love to see... Yeah, Niv, that was big brain. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, the Vaporwave set would work, I was thinking, because it would probably look pretty good on there. I want to see the Vaporwave, honestly. All right, we're going to go with the Vaporwave, because I think that would look pretty solid, personally. I think that's our best matching set. I hate those mods. I agree. Mods are... I mean, it's not terrible. They're not... They're not awful. By any means. But, uh... I f I'm with you on that, McGurk. I agree. I don't I don't love them. All right, we got our vaporwave set from Novel Keys. Yeah, I think this is probably our best matching set. It's not a perfect match by any means, um, but it does look decent, or it looks like it would be decent on there. What do you guys think? Should we go with this? do uh yes this vaporwave <clears throat> the vaporwave does have uh alice layout support it does actually Oof. yep this is gonna be solid all right looks like i might have to tighten that corner screw up just a hair uh it was pretty yeah i'm gonna have to tighten that up that one up just a hair that's no biggie though. I can do that later. That was a little looser. Packaging looks better than GMK. Uh, it's about the same as GMK. I mean, this holds your keycaps, I guess. So this might be a little better than GMK because your keycaps at least can't go flying and be all fucking out of whack. They'll actually be in their their slots, you know. So that's good. At least that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Big eh for me. Uh, it will match the obliterated color. I think so. Purples are too different for me. Oh, I'm saying Alps switches for the first time ever right now. How do you like them? I'm curious how you like the Alps because I personally have not used Alps yet. Uh, Alps are a foreign language to me. A foreign language. Don't know about them. Mm -mm. Alps. <laughs> so you guys are about the Alps life, huh? I was thinking about trying it out. I actually want to try Alps and Topra. Um, I was thinking about getting a, a Topra TKL and maybe a Norbaforce case to throw it in. Or there's the new there's a new TKL coming out that has support for Topra or MX. That's the one I might go for. Ooh, I love them. Alps are great. Alps, I mean, not Topra. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you meant. Um, I was just saying I want to try Topra, too. Um, yeah, I do want to try Alps. I would be curious to try them. PBT sounds good on FR4. Dude, this is already sounding really good. This is already sounding pretty solid IMO. I don't think I have any purple artisans. Oh, I have a purple Rama cap, actually. We could throw that on there, though it's not for this set. Uh, I do have the Vaporwave Rama cap, I think. Um, I think I do. I might. I have the white on black hiragana, and yeah, I have the Vaporwave one, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Uh, I think they are two separate boards, though. I think it's one board, right? With two different tops or two different plates or something. Uh, I got a pretty clean M0116 with orange Alps laying around for, like, 
a year or two, got it in a garage sale. Damn, there you go. Go and send that to me. You don't need it. Go ahead and send that to me. Let me let me play with those Alps, brother. Let me play with them Alps. We need stepped caps lock, so that's going to be on our second layer down there. We'll wait on that guy. When the Rama cap costs more than the key set, yo, facts, dude. The Rama, the Rama key cap will cost more because it's the Rama brass cap. So it definitely costs more than this key cap set. <laughs> but we could do it, I guess. I think the first love Rama looks would look a little better, maybe? It is purple, at least. Well, I tell you what, these trays are snug. You gotta like pry your keycap sets out of there. Or your keycaps, you gotta like pry them out. They're pretty snug. Get on out of there now. There we go. Yeah, you definitely have to like work these guys out. Shit. There we go. I got it. Let's get you on here now. There we go. Yeah, I think this is gonna sound pretty damn good, honestly. I think this is gonna sound pretty all right. Uh, so I see what he was saying. The blocker is a little short. I think I see it. Yeah, I do see it already. You can tell it's a little short. It does not go all the way up to where the keycap would be. The bottom of the keycap. Like most wind keyless blockers will. Uh, I'll do something with it one day. Tyson, let's go. Thank you for the subscription, my dude. How are you, Tyson? Good to see you, brother. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you, brother. Big chillin', my dude. We're building a obliterated 75 prototype for Upas. Checking this guy out. And, and there we go. And we need our second row. We are topping this with the PBT Vaporwave set from Novel Keys. Uh, the budget set. There we go. And let's get our bottom row on here. You really gotta pry these keycaps out of here. Uh, I'm excited to see how those alpacas sound with PBT caps and FR4 plate. They're gonna be amazing. They are about to sound fucking phenomenal. I can already tell you. Can already tell you. Oof, these wind keys are yikes. I just need one of these. I don't know why I got both out. There we go. Get our arrows here. Where's our short shift? This guy. Throw our short shift on there. You can see that that blocker's a little short there. I'll pull this up a little closer for you guys in just a moment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Seven U spacebar, always nice. Seven U spacebar is the wave, my dude. It is the way to go. There we go. And we had delete up here, which actually we will put a Rama cap there. You guys said we should put a Rama cap there. Get my caps lock. Let me get this stepped caps out. Uh, did you guys see Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. are fighting in September? I did not see that. Oh, I did it not. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of rubbing on my caps lock on the side of the case there. We'll see what's going on with that. Maybe I can just scoop this over a little bit. It looks like the rest of them are solid though. It's all right. Uh, let's do page up. Where's our page up? I know we got an R1 page up. Is it on the top? Nope, it's not. 
How do we have an R1 page down, but not R1 page up? Where's that guy at? What's really going on here? <clears throat> that don't make a lot of sense to me. Tell me why you have an R1 page down, but not an R1 page up. does not make sense to me it's all right we'll just throw some caps on here and get this guy with the right profile at least oh there is a page up it's just a different color I was looking for the wrong color we're gonna we're gonna put that one on there because it's correct page down we go and get our what's the last one fn we'll do function mm -mm -mm -mm. there we go and you guys think we should put a that does sound really good a rama cap on here eh let's see what we got in the artisan box let's check it out uh, is there a mod colored pipe key in the set uh, looks like you're uh, shit out of luck, bud. No mod color pipe key. That's a negative, Ghost Rider. Which I'm okay with. I am perfectly okay with that. <laughs> I'm all right with uh, alpha colored full day and mod color pipe or alpha colored uh, pipe. So we do have the Vaporwave Rama, uh, Rama cap there, but I was thinking the First Love Rama cap might match better, maybe? What do you guys think? <clears throat> what do you guys think? Should we go with the Vaporwave one or the First Love? I think the First Love is going to match the best. Always Tally? <laughs> Tally doesn't go with this build. Oh yeah, that first love one goes pretty good with it. That goes pretty well, I think. <clears throat> Alright, let's give you guys a little show here. What do you guys think about this? So you can see there that blocker is just a bit short. That will be fixed on the production run. Nice Cannon Keys logo on the bottom there. It's pretty solid. A little side profile for you. The side and the back and the front all have the same lip. I do like that a lot. Pretty solid. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> You're right, Kemper. You're right. They did good on this 75%? Yeah, they did. They did, for sure. Upas knows what he's doing. This shit came out pretty solid. Needs to adjust that blocker. Um, I'm going to play with this caps lock. Maybe I need to uh, swap it to regular caps and see if it still scrapes. And if it does, then I need to let Upas know about that in case he doesn't know already. But this looks really good. You guys ready for a little sound test of it? Let me cut the tunes here real quick. All right, y'all ready? This is a off the desk test, and then we'll do on the desk.
Bruh, this thing sounds fucking amazing, doesn't it? What? Bravi, I see you up there. How are we doing? How are you doing, my friend? Oh, yeah. That's solid. Get you guys a little closer here. Dude, this thing sounds fucking pretty good, dude. What's going on with that switch? That one's loud. I'm gonna have to swap that one. Other than that one switch. Yo, this sounds fucking amazing. FR4 might be the move. I don't know. I'm going to try PLA for plates soon. Um, but this is pretty nice. You know, FR4 is pretty sharp. I like it. The last couple times I've used it, I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, this time is no different, I must say. I'm uh, very pleased with the FR4 plate. The thing's got just a little bit of give. You guys can see that, I'm sure. Just a little bit of a flex, not a lot. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good right there. And I think the vaporwave set was the move, honestly. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but the PBT seems popular than usual. It does. It sounds really good. It sounds really fucking good. <clears throat> NK PBT caps? Yes, they are. Could that switch be hitting the film? I don't think so. It's on the upstroke. It's on the upstroke. Uh, I don't know, I'll just swap that one out. No biggie. Um, is this the only proto build? Uh, so, mentally did the acrylic uh, proto build. Mentally built the acrylic one, um, which came out really good as well. Came out pretty good as well, Viper Man. Speaking of PBT, EPBT has two versions. EPBT, PBT, and EPBT ABS. Yes. The now EPBT is making ABS caps as well. Yes. Uh, I want a Brutal 60 SER2 or the Devastating TKL, to be honest. Devastating is that TKL, by the way. Whomever was asking earlier. Devastating TKL. Um, but yes, that is going to be solid. I think that TKL is going to be fire. I had a Brutal 60, and it was a great board. It was very solid. The burger mount is the move. I like burger mount myself. I think it's pretty solid. You have the option to do top top mount or burger mount. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It's great. Works pretty well. Uh, Dutch Master, what's going on, my friend? How are you today? Good to see you, brother. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the devastating TKO 100%. Exactly. That thing's going to be solid. That is going to be solid. Thoughts on the Sinks? Think 6.5 V2. Uh, so that guy's pretty solid. It's a nice board. Only reason I'm personally not jumping in on it is because I have a Think 6.5 V1, the black polycarb one. Um, so I won't be getting a V2. Uh, plus that, and I have quite a few 65%. So, uh... I'm trying to not buy any 65% unless I just really need it. Otherwise, I'm trying to venture out a little bit. I want to have kind of my quote-unquote end game of each layout. I'd like to have a 65, a 60, a 75, a TKO, a 1800. Uh, you know, I'd like to have one of each layout that I don't plan to get rid of. So that's the plan, at least. <laughs> the plan. I love Burger Mount. Yeah, dude, Burger Mount's the move, IMO. Uh, sexy board and sexy man, match made in heaven. Oof, frequency. Oof. Uh, that freaking honey board is burger mount. 
Review. Review the Honeyboards Burger Mount. Regal TV. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the fuck out of you. Thank you for tuning in today. Review. Are you shitting me right now? The Honeyboard is Burger Mount? Ooh. I'm in love. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait, dude. That thing's going to be so nice. It's going to be so nice. My hair's wilding today, boys. I need to get a haircut. Uh, Upas Brutal line boards sound good, but I'm really skeptical about the screw placements on the Savage, and it looks like the Obliterator has the same mounting spots. It made the flex inconsistent throughout the board for me. I don't think so. It seems to be pretty... Also keep in mind that with burger mount, it's very based on how tight you put those screws. So you want to make sure you tighten all the screws at the same tightness. Um, maybe that could have been a slight issue with you. Uh, maybe you could try that. Maybe have them all just a tad bit looser. See how that works. Lovador, what's going on, my friend? How are you? Glad to see you. Uh, Geikster, thank you for the follow as well. Didn't mean to miss you there. I appreciate you the appreciate you hitting that follow button. Anybody else who's not in here, if you haven't already, hit that follow button right over there. Was over there somewhere, I think. Uh, hit that follow button if you guys want to stay tuned and uh, keep informed of when we do build streams. We do twice a week currently. I actually felt like the Savage felt okay. Mine had some flex to it, some good bounce, I should say. Yeah, I think the Savage, uh, pretty much that whole lineup, this whole lineup's pretty good. This is really good, though. This sounds phenomenal. Yeah, I think it sounds really good. <clears throat> should we do a little typing test? See how bad of a typer I am, guys? What do you guys think? You guys want to make fun of me real quick? make quick funds but i also prefer 60 over 65 and tkl or 75 so definitely waiting for the brutal and devastating i feel you there uh, i think the pbt makes a sound really solace solid there you go i see what you're saying uh 122 not gonna happen nate great i can tell you that <laughs> 122 is one above my highest at the current uh 121 is my my uh current uh, top score, I believe. <clears throat> I believe 121 at least. Uh, so let's get a little sound test here. A little sound test slash typing test. We're going to turn the camera a little bit so you guys can get a little bit, or not the camera, sorry, the, uh, the microphone. You guys can get a little bit better of a angle to the keyboard itself. <clears throat> Whoop. Nope. I feel like I need a wrist rest, but I don't. Fucked it up again. What's going on here, boys? What's really going? Really, 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 really facts. I was doing good there. The sound is so good though. It's very light springs. It kind of makes it hard. It, it's not hard, but it, it's weird going from H1s to alpacas, I'll be honest. 
<laughs> it is weird. You go, you, you kind of feel like you're not even hitting the key, honestly. It's just so light. Oh, oops. Whoopsie. Uh, Duroc Springs feel light. Which Duroc Springs? Glad I went with 67 gram recolors. Yeah, they're a little light, these alpacas. Always face this problem on my creams, especially from switching over from Holy Pandas. Yeah, I feel that. That's a big jump. Uh, but yeah, Tangerine 67 gram feel like 65. Oof. Uh, I actually need to pick up tangerines from a local buddy that I keep bullshitting about. I forgot all about it. <clears throat> I feel like in general for Durox, they're a little light. I feel that. This thing's clean. It feels good, sounds good. Might be a little, just a hair hollow sounding, maybe. Not hollow, I would say, but you could almost deaden it a little bit with some foam. You know? I'm pretty sure I typed 106, then 107, then 108. <clears throat> Does this one have the polyfill? No polyfill. No polyfill at all. <clears throat> They're the only springs from them that are actually close to what they state. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Most of them are pretty off. We used to hit 111 that time. We're moving up slowly. This thing's so nice, though. 65 gram mauves felt like 55 gram TX to me, for example. The mauves or mauves are light. I think the Merlots are also really light. Those guys were also hella fucking light. <clears throat> we hit 111 on the type test. We were close. We were close. Let's do a little show off of this guy again. We got PBT Vaporwave from Novel Keys on the Obliterated 75. Obliterated 75 prototype. A couple of things that will be changed. This will be fixed. The blocker length, that will be extended to meet the top of a keycap so you have the same gap there. Um, I, I'm not going to say that the caps lock is an issue quite yet. It may just be this one. So uh, that may be something that's going to be fixed already if it was an issue that he noticed. Uh, sorry, I joined late. What switches are these? These are alpacas. Uh, these have been lubed with 205 grade 0, uh, 105 on the springs, and filmed with TX Films on a FR4 plate. Stock Springs, yes, Stock Springs. Stock Springs. Damn, those monster switches won't deliver until November. May just wait now. Oof. Yeah, that's a that's a ways away. That is a ways away. We gotta get a uh, switch this to face cam, boys and girls. We're gonna get us a little screenshot here. What do you guys think? Get a better angle here. We don't want the uh, the light over over uh, exposing us here. All right, three, two.
two, slide back this way a little bit, three, two, one, boom, beautiful, there we go, yeah, this thing's pretty solid, not focused, oof, okay, retry, retry, oh, we should rotate this way a little bit there, There we go. Three, two. Oh, we're getting a little overexposure there. There we go. Okay. One of those guys will work. Sounds like Gator on in ones. Sounds really good. This is alpacas on FR4. Sounds solid. Uh, everything I have on its way to me for keyboard stuff. Does not start shipping out until December. Oof. Looks like you're on the wait list, Avail. Like the rest of us. Welcome to the wait list, my dude. I think the caps locks is a PBT issue. I have a um, have almost the same issue on my novel keys black on white on KBD seventy five V two. Oh. You know, that would almost make more sense because it is just the caps lock that's over a little bit too much. Like, all the rest of the keys are good, so it was either the caps lock uh, placement, the switch placement was just a hair too far to the left, or that key is a little wonky. I'm going to guess it's probably the key. It is a $50 keycap set, so... Which probably wouldn't be an issue on most cases, uh, unless it has a very snug fit around the... Uh, caps, so we won't run into that all the time. <clears throat> December for me as well. Oof, Kemper, I understand that. I've got things coming in December. I just have things coming before then. <laughs> I've bought too many group buys, honestly. I've bought too many group buys. Straighten this out here. And thank you guys for all tuning in and hanging out with us, by the way. I appreciate you. I think uh, the board came out fucking amazing. I'm in only two group buys right now. I wish I was only in two group buys. I'm in far more than that. Far, far more than that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to jump out of here. I'm going to go make some chicken Alfredo. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you'll get a picture of that on my story. Um, you can hit exclamation point socials if you guys want to get a link to keep up with me on those guys my instagram my youtube as well as my twitter you can keep me up on uh, keep up with me on those uh what do i do to get some chicken alfredo you drive your ass down here visionaire or fly if you fly i'm only like 20 minutes from the airport dude maybe maybe 30 minutes from the airport <clears throat> see you in six hours all right i'll see you then I'll see you then. I'll save you a bowl, Visionaire. <laughs> I have five boards and nine keycap sets in or on order. Oof, Nate. Look at my pinned uh, list in group or uh, in keyboard chat in my Discord. You'll see how many I'm in. I'm in probably around the same. Maybe a little more. Maybe a few more. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> but we are going to jump out of here. We're going to go make some dinner. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should plug the board in. I wonder if I have a good, uh, desk pad to go with this keycap set. I kind of want to use this for a few days. Well, I'm going to use this board for a little while until I send it back to, um, until I send it back to Upas. That's my whole goal here was to, uh, so... Who do we, should we raid? Apiaries live. I guess that's about it, huh? Unfortunately. I guess not unfortunately, but only one person's live, so we only have one option. We're raiding Apiary. <laughs> Whom already has 40, oh no, Hugo's live. We got Hugo. You guys up for Hugo or Apiary? Let me know what you guys think. Hugo's only got 33 folks, so we could pretty, uh, pretty easily double his view count real quick if you guys want to. You guys all on board for Hugo? Nate the Great, uh, what's Hugo doing? Hugo is unboxing keyboards 
regular Hugo edition. So we'll go see what Hugo's unboxing. What do you guys think? And we'll give Hugo a raid. I appreciate, again, appreciate all of you guys for hanging out. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you all have a good rest of your week. And I will see you guys on Sunday. We got a little build lined up for Sunday. So uh, hopefully it's a unicorn. If not, we'll be, we will be building a KBD 8X. Uh, until then, you guys all have a good one. Appreciate you tuning in. Peace. Wash your hands. <laughs>